everyone so we are doing another Halloween series video this one is called the Halloween killer I don't know anything so let's just get into it Halloween night 1973 nine-year-old Lisa French wanted to wear a butterfly costume but her mother convinced her to wear something a bit warmer for the Fond du Lake Wisconsin weather Lisa ended up dressing like a hobo <laughs> After eating dinner, she ran out of the door and started to trick-or-treat. She had made plans to meet up with her friend and go to the pumpkin place, a safe area some parents had put together for the children. But her friend had gotten in trouble and wasn't allowed to go. Lisa was left to go out alone. She only made it to three houses that night. The first two, a teacher and a classmate's home, gave her candy and sent her on her way. The third held more sinister motives. Gerald Miles Turner Jr. would open the third door for Lisa and invite her inside. Turner used to share a duplex with Lisa's family, so she knew him quite well. When he lived next door, she was fond of talking with him, so nothing would have seemed strange for him to invite her inside that night. After having Lisa inside, he took her back to his bedroom where he sexually assaulted her. He claimed that at some point he realized she wasn't breathing and tried to resuscitate her. But his girlfriend came home and interrupted him. So he put socks on his hands and moved Lisa's body into the master bedroom to deal with later. He went out wrapped in a bathrobe, telling his girlfriend he didn't feel well. While she was there, he kept returning to the bedroom. Was he revisiting Lisa's body? His girlfriend ended up leaving again to go to her mother's. After she left, Turner put Lisa's body in a trash bag and her belongings in another. I don't know why he did that. That doesn't even make sense. He took both bags a few miles out of town and dumped them in a field. Lisa was to be home by 7 p.m., and when she didn't return, her mother started to worry. By the time 10 p.m. arrived, the neighborhood had already begun searching for a little girl. The neighborhood rallied together, posting signs in their windows, telling others that Lisa was missing. Police started a search party that lasted all night. The next day, over 5,000 people joined in and widened the search area. The National Guard was called in, and private plane owners volunteered to search from the sky. All-terrain vehicles drove through the marshes, creeks, and fields. All the bodies of water around town had been dredged. A local Photoshop printed 6,000 copies of Lisa's school photo that was passed around and posted throughout town. Gas stations were given free gas to anyone using a vehicle to search for Lisa. Eventually, a farmer on his tractor found two garbage bags on his property. He stopped and inspected them, finding the body of Lisa French. When the news circulated that Lisa had been found dead, the whole community seemed to mourn her loss. They all came out in support of her family for the funeral. Myron Meaden Jr. spoke to the mourners who had gathered. We are here, the entire city in spirit is here, to share your sorrow. Turner had been questioned starting the day after Lisa had been reported missing. By elimination, they could prove she had gone to two homes before coming to his. Then no one else had seen her. At first, he denied any involvement. But finally, after nine months of being pulled in for questioning, he cracked and confessed. During the trial, he would change his story, saying he only confessed to stop, to stop the police from harassing him, and that he was completely innocent. During the trial, the medical examiner testified about the cause of death. Lisa French died from asphyxiation. Can I get it together to you guys? Probably not. But she wasn't smothered or strangled. She had died due to shock while being sexually assaulted. How old was she? I don't think it ever stated how old she was. Hold on. We'll come back to this. Nine years old. The jury found Gerald Miles Jr. or if I can get it together, it'd be great. 
The jury found Gerald Miles Turner Jr. guilty of second-degree murder, enticing a child for immoral purposes and acts of sexual perversion. Robert Owens, the chief psychologist at Teichita, no shit, <laughs> Correctional Institute, had met with Turner. He has a cold disregard for people, mainly females. He does not have a, con a conscience controlled to inhibit his impulses for pleasure and to confront to society's laws. During his sentencing... <laughs> During his sentencing, Circuit Court Judge Milton saw Turner for who he was. He impressed me as showing no remorse, no feeling of repentance. After everything he did and with a total lack of remorse, Turner was paroled in 1992 after serving only 17 years. He went to live at a halfway house. Outrage erupted that the killer was back on the streets so soon. The citizens of Fond du Lac, Lac, I don't know brought a civil lawsuit for releasing Turner. They said the state erred in how they calculated his mandatory release date. Turner was put back in prison when the state admitted their error. He was then scheduled to be released in 1994. This time, the state sought to have him held in a secure mental institute instead of being released. In 1998, Turner got his day in court again, this time fighting for his right to be freed claiming he was not a sexual predator and should not be held in a mental institute. A jury agreed and set him free. While out free, he lived in another halfway house. But when a routine check of his computer in 2003 showed it was filled with pornographic and sexually explicit videos that violated his parole conditions, he was sent back to prison. Currently, Turner is being considered for parole again, but I think it's already been proven that he will not follow the rules. If he's re-released, how long until he finds another young victim? Yeah, exactly. So on that note, if you guys liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.